45. Yeah. It's draining my money more actually holding all these military units, but I I do think it is worth it on balance. We can make up we can keep we can keep hold of the higher level value things. Akbar is basically only there. It's not he's not an admiral, but he should be an admiral. Um, he's only really there in case um, uranium deposits later down the line appear just outside our territory, so we can nab it and start another war. But this is important. I mean, one plus one production on all of the river tiles. There is a big giant river on through all through the one city. We needed it. And now the one city finally has a circus, and they want a peace treaty, which means that basically. Attila, you lost the war. Panama is... The... Yep. Christian Olympus. Oh, he finally turned up. Belgrade is nearly d decayed. So I'm going to have to go and give Belgrade some money now. Which is next to useless for us. The nation of the West anyway. hoped that by means of steam communication... All of oh, somebody stole astronomy. See, this is why I shouldn't have possibly traded them back over. But if he was successful, he would get another level three spy that way. Ah, oh, well, somebody stole it. Ugh. Anyway, Belgrade, we need them. So let's give a gift of 500 gold. They want us to connect marble to our trade network. Do we have anybody who can trade marble with us? 19 now. 19's good. Uh, who has marble? More of the point, who has marble and is willing to trade it? Attila has marble. As a pseudomen, and neither of them are particularly liking me at the moment. William Ivor, for that matter. Alright, let's see if we can make a bad deal with you. What do you want? <laughs> 34 gold a turn, no. No, gee, God, no. Alright, you. No way to make that work. Probably this is his only luxury resource. Um, the only other person who had marble was you. No way to make it work. So we have a really bad deal with um, the Netherlands or nothing. And to be honest, we don't need it that badly. Not at all, I don't think. So, um... Just ten needed to break that. I could probably grab that in a few turns. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Replaceable parts is next. They'll further upgrade our um, city's um, defense. Not that it really needs it, but you know. Upgrade to defense is upgrade to defense. I suppose I should could swap... Uh, research for money, but I'd actually quite like having the near 400 science a turn we're now generating. I don't know. Two chances to stop them. A level 2 spy. All of our um, upgrades in that regard. A 15% reduction chance from the National Defense Agency. And we still fail to stop them stealing our technology. Ah, oh, dear. next turn. Right, Akbar can go to sleep for a bit. Something I should be doing fairly shortly, I think, so I'm going to probably just do, um, end this on turn 335. Um, unless something um, encourages me to stay on a little longer. We're getting free science from trade routes now. So somebody has technology we don't have. So I keep forgetting to click next turn, or if I do, it just does something and then I have to do it again. Doesn't matter. Yeah, plus six pressure only. We should now start actually pushing our religion back on Egypt, which would be very nice. Your Revan should eventually flip to our religion as well. Oh, I don't like that you took that. I mean, we got another one we could grab, but, you know. 
Also, how long are you going to take to get these antiquity sites sorted out? We, we need the tourism, guys. We need it. We just need a rate war infantry. Who are only half as strong as our city's defences at the moment, and we've still got a uh, military base to build on it. Which we will. We've got nothing else to do with it, so... Alright, fortify. Fortify. Sleep. How much gold would we get if we did that? That takes us to 110. Season management is still on production focus. What can we do on food focus? Well, actually, since we are doing research in any case, I think that might be a better way of doing this. Just stick with the food focus and get ourselves massively up there. Um, gold focus gets us to 109. You know what? That's probably fine there. The other thing I can do, if we're going that major onto this, I can go Artist Guild and actually put two into Musicians Guild. So that gives us a massive bit of culture boost. We're getting great people as fast as we can actually make them. So, all told, that seems okay to me. Next turn. Oh, choose Archaeology. Okay. So, uh, founded by Riga, Conqueror Arabia... Ancient Era. So this is where um, Riga was. Um, create a Regan artifact. Create a Arabian artifact. I'll create a landmark site. It is an Ancient Era one, so it would be worth a lot of culture per turn if we could actually work it. The problem is we can't actually f we can't actually use it in that regard. So let's go and create a. Create an Arabian artifact. And then just going into this, so we have our. Yes, yeah, so there's our Arabian thing. There is a sort of museum matching. If we can get another Arabian artifact of um, hopefully the ancient era, that will um, sync up nicely there as well. So, continuing on then. Unit needs orders, which pretty much involves you going to sleep. Next turn. Yeah, not a lot for us to do anymore at this point, other than see how far we can push the um, tourism path to victory. Actually, that's the one thing we could get from um, as a better advantage. Because, of course, the, um, the next level 3 one we could get is plus 34% tourism in anywhere where we are happier. We have 63 happiness. I think it's fair to say we've got more than most people. Also, if they copy our ideology, which they should do by now, it's the world ideology. They'll be unhappy if they don't. Of course, our cities can't flip to them, but you know. Also, we should really build the Kremlin. I know we've gone the other way around with this, but we should really build that. All in the future, though. Alert. And turn. So looking at things now, 35 turns until we get you. 167 turns, 94 turns. 325 till we get America. The problem is going to be Egypt. Which is currently not even on the radar. That's that is a rather large increase, that one. So I suppose we might be going out and finding some antiquity sites then. Problem is, I don't think we've got a lot of spare slots for them anymore. Still, look at go out and see if we can find one. Um, they want a new natural wonder. Yeah, I think we'll go out and... Yeah, I know what we'll do. Not purchase. That's Q. Change production then. No, oh, we'll wait until that's in. New great rice. New great riser. Change production. Archaeologist.
There we go. And we'll add... We'll add a few onto there. And then go back to research. So we lose we lose a little, but that's fine. Um, 2,532 culture would give us another immediate upgrade. So there we go. And we will immediately finish off patronage, so they will occasionally grant us great people. Um, yeah, allies ones will actually may give us great people, so we've actually got a lot of allies. This could be rather good, depending on how the random number generator works with this. Um, another nine. I'm going to be cheeky and just give them that. There we go. Another ally. More food. Huzzah. Okay, um... Yep, we supplanted them. Zanzibar needs cotton. They want a new natural wonder. And I got a new archaeology. And it's another ancient era Arabian artifact we can make here. So we shall do. There we go, and we get plus two for Museum of Ancient Arabian Warfare. A mask and a mask. Huzzah. And plus two um, tourism means we're now going off at 50. She's America in 250 free turns. Okay, all good. Next turn. So we're becoming influential. It is all working out for the best then. Spain has denounced the Netherlands. For some reason. Yeah, it's actually not expanding our territory anymore. Actually, our territory has actually gone outwards quite, quite ridiculously stupidly, hasn't it? Where's our extra work I got to? Let's have a look. Oh well, I'm sure we'll, we'll turn up. Well, it's alright, this is going to divide against us, but we need all the allies we can get. Especially the ones we can't get. Unit from Belgrade, I should probably turn that off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're turning that off. And it, it's a useful enough thing to have, but there are downsides. It's affecting our in, influx of gold. These treaties now expired with Theodora. Declaration of Friendship has now expired with America, so we'll need to renew that. And Belgrade gave us another artillery. Which I think we might actually just... Yeah, I'll just disband that for the gold. I suppose in that way we could use them. Just um, get the gifts and then sell them off. Anyway, um, you have another elephant to go and grab, I think. In the meanwhile... I mean, while we are allied with every city-state we currently know about, we now have 20 votes in the council. We need 47 for a victory. But we, once we get to the next era, which should be actually replaceable parts, if I remember this rightly. No, we need a... Now, it'll be atomic theory when we get in there. Because we want the academy science yield increase, obviously. Not any other reason. Definitely not any other reason. Okay, maybe there's other reasons. But still... That's how we do it. Um, we're at peace as well, so let's give us an extra bit of food. Okay, one more. And then we get our archaeologist, and that, I think, will end the video. So, war was declared. War has basically over. We are on top. Now it's just, can we ride this all to victory? Or did we waste, we, did we waste too much money and time, effort, energy, just destroying... A country we really didn't need to destroy. Augustus is in the industrial era. Um, I have no interest in attacking them.
I don't see any of a privateer in the middle of nowhere for some reason. So have Holland got a city in the middle of... They have. Okay, so we have an archaeologist who needs to go and find something. Um, I think we're going to that one, which is just there. And then we'll build some more archaeologists because you know what, archaeology is definitely something is definitely something we are interested in. We have though pretty much finished off all of that. Do we actually have another? We don't. We need another great musician. When's that going to happen? It's probably the next one actually. 1816. So we have a slight benefit to um, that one over the artist for some reason. Uh, it's probably because Broadway produces two points. Yeah, it is because Broadway produces two points. Right, so with all of that having been done, um, yeah, I'm going to say until next time then, victory is going to be ours, essentially. It will. It, it, it's going to be diplomatic victory, but I'm going to give you my darndest to get the cultural victory going. But anyway, wait, those are the two victory gifts you have in a one city challenge, really, although I probably could have tried for a military one, the way this game has actually worked out. We'd have eventually come unstuck once we got to um, somebody who could actually fight back properly, like Spain. But definitely something we could have could have considered. And military victories are always easier on archipelagos when you just actually uh, pinpoint their capitals and then just send over, grab them, run away. But anyway, that's the future. So until next time.